adventure started off back about a year and a half ago uh, when we created a student equity board. And it was a collection of students who represented the student body uh, who felt the need to kind of voice their thoughts and opinions about the policies and procedures that happen in school. I got involved in this project because, well, my freshman year, I was invited to join the equity board for that year. And then my sophomore year, I realized that I was still invited to join. And so I started going to the meetings and I started getting my friends to come also, including like Grace. And I have a bunch of other friends that I convinced to join and I just kind of stuck around. I came to be involved in this project by joining Student Equity Board. I really agreed with the cause of the club and I joined because my friend Mia was in it and she encouraged me. So we kind of both did it together. I joined the Student Equity Board um, my sophomore year and um, I was talking to the assistant principal about an issue that I had that I didn't feel okay with. And we came to a conclusion with it and he asked me if I would like to join the Student Equity Board. And I told him, yeah, I would love it. I joined the mural project so I could like help a school seem more vibrant and more colorful, while also represent like underrepresented communities within Leiden and just showing off people's culture. And the students had mentioned that they wanted a school that represents who they are and see themselves uh, throughout the building. We had a series of artists come in and kind of listen to the voice and concerns of our students and see who would be the best fit. Uh, and we met Victor. Victor did a great job of bringing in the cultural relevancy of our school, the lineage of a lot of our students, and really trying to transform that into the artwork that we create in the mural. So we need to make our statement. We, that, that's how we finish. That's our next battle. What is our next battle? And what is the truth about America? What is the truth about America? Now, look at my hand. 60, 40. Look at my leg. 60, 40. Look at my face. 60, 40. Golden mean is basically a proportion. And it says that a whole is proportionate pretty much in a 60, 40 ratio. That everything is 60, 40. That this is golden. This is the way to build. This is the way we work. The process for creating a mural is really not a process for creating a mural. The process is creating dialogue. And it's, it's less about art and much more about leadership. So we enter into uh, discussions and activities that use art as a tool for opening up and discussing hard topics, deep topics, like about identity, about patriarchy, about homophobia, about heritage, legacy, and more than anything, cultural and historical intersections that we have. <laughs> This mural is, is particularly special because we had people from all over the school in different positions. We had students, we had faculty, teachers, counselors, administrators, even our superintendents be part of the creation of this mural. And I think it represents the function of a school. Everyone plays a, a different role. And in order for, for a school to function properly, uh, I think all voices have to be heard and everyone's input has to be valued. My role in this project was me and Mia would attend the meetings and we would think of ideas and we would think of like what we would want to incorporate in the mural and how we could like effectively represent every student at Leiden. All the students that were involved, we kind of had like the same role and it was to show up and just be involved and like give ideas and just create like a good environment and like, you know, just like keep the ideas flowing, if that makes sense. So I think I just kind of, you know, contributed to that. <laughs>
I personally talked to a few other of my friends to listen to their ideas and see like what they were thinking. Like, I think this would be really cool or I wouldn't like this and definitely pitch in their ideas from what I heard and just make sure that in a way everybody was pitching into the ideas. Throughout this process, we really saw a lot of positive responses from the students. They learned a lot about themselves through this leadership academy. I learned so many things. I learned like different cultures and how we represent our people and how much our culture like matters to our identity and how important it is to represent it in this mural and just represent everyone. Well, I just kind of learned to work with what I feel is right, like kind of trusting my gut and like going with my instincts. Because we did a couple like creativity exercises, I guess you could call them, where we would just like paint for like a while and like maybe, you know, talk about what we painted, why we painted it. So I guess I just kind of learned to trust myself, go with my gut. And then, I don't know, I just kind of learned symbolism, especially because of like what's included in the painting. I think a lot of things are very symbolic to other things and they connect with students. Something I learned from this experience was definitely how there's so much cultural background that everybody has. And during the meetings that we had, hearing how, like, I'm from here and here and we wouldn't have guests. And just hearing everybody's ideas and seeing how everything could come into just one picture. I can't say enough about this collective of students that we had and how open they are to learning from one another. It takes no great student to learn from a teacher, to learn from a mentor or to learn, but it takes a great human being to learn from their peers, to respect their peers, to pay attention to their peers, to listen to their peers. That is the sign of a lifelong learner, that you don't need someone with authority to be your teacher, that you can learn from people that are standing shoulder to shoulder with you, that you don't need a leader to learn from, and in fact, that you can be a leader. This is how students begin to own, right? Not only their school, but, but also education in general. So walking into a building where they see themselves and where they have been part of, of what they see, it begins to create a stronger sense of belonging at school. It, it's really theirs and it represents them who they are, the community, and they were part of, of creating that. And I think that's, that's beautiful. Through this Leadership Academy, they're learning not only how to do the technical aspect of, of drawing and painting, but they also learn things about like dedication, uh, who they're dedicating their artwork to, uh, styles in which different people represent themselves. And, and I think that's an important part of learning uh, but it's an important part of this mural because it really encompasses all of those things. And so we see a lot of kids whose energy has is, is changed for the positive. I met a young student that really started to talk about his deep passion for sports, and I learned a lot about him. So it was kind of a cool uh, opportunity. I don't think without this Leadership Academy, I would have known that at all. This is my first time being in the art hallway in my first three years of life. Before this mural process, I really have never painted before. I've never been really artsy in any kind of way. I've been more into athletics and music, but since I tried out this thing, I found that I really like painting and painting is very therapeutic. For this, I had to be on time every week and I came in whenever I could to paint or to go to a meeting. The artist Victor did a wonderful job. He went above and beyond with it and the colors, the images, and just everything in general. I think it's just, wow, when I came in, I was shocked. I really hope that when they walk down the hallway to see this mural, that they see themselves in it, and then they feel like, oh, that's me. Like, because it is for them. It's not just for us. It's for everyone that goes to Leiden. I hope that when other students see it as well, they feel the same way. They, f they feel connected to the pictures and interpret it in however they want. 
I hope they feel that it's for them, even though maybe they weren't involved in the making of it. I hope they feel that they're connected to it and they're represented in it because there's a lot of different like, cultures and like there's just a lot, there's something for everyone. So I hope they feel represented. I hope that the students and the school community at large will feel themselves, they will feel and reflect themselves when they go by and that they feel a bigger picture of, of who they are. Our effort in creating the mural, and I'm saying ours because this isn't my painting, this is a collective painting. I may be here adding final details by myself, but being a collective is not necessarily about doing everything together. Being in a collective means keeping the collective in mind, particularly when you're alone, that you can represent the collective. The painting represents the collective. It represents uh, the teachers, the administrators, the superintendent, the students, everyone that walks through here. The engineers, the janitors, the uh, food lady can, can come and say, yes, I, I know what this says.